Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Can I face another player at Queen's Blood? I need a new opponent. The others are kind of ass. You. Ah, not so fast. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Well, I don't care about your valuables. I just want to. I'm looking for the dog. The rog. Looking for the D O double G. Snoop Dogg. Any Queen's Blood players up here? I need a challenge. I need a challenge. Ooh, I don't know. It is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small. Oh, hello. These are the friends I was talking about. Thank you for looking after my money. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. Forty what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about fifteen or sixteen years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Mm. Which is more than I can say for my good for nothing father. Oh? <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community. Have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. No. Be right back. Mm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. essential to my studies of the planet. Mm. Anakin never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Uh, there's something. Oh, oh, oh. They are essential to my studies of the planet. It seems like you're riding around on Maka's last mess, so... While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Huh. My Good thing Yuffie's not here, she'd try stealing it. <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Will you play me in Queen's Blood, old man? I never had much exposure to the outside world. 
I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Uh, they've been interesting. He almost died a few times. Say the least. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. I suspect it can't detect much now. I mean, there's probably Mako in the eyes of injected into cloud on them, so. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Catchets and gizmos are plenty. I got who's it and what's it galore. Cinema Bobs, I got 20. Okay, Little Mermaid reference. But it's long, I want more. I want to go where the people right are. There is a type of a current generator. Uh -huh. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new <gasps> airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Mm -hmm. Can you paint her for the colors of the wind? Oh, actually, there's a re. <laughs> yes, grab the items. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches. The stars is to gaze into their path. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Is that all? Can I move into somewhere else? See, this would never be me in real life. I'd be freaking the fuck out. What do you mean that again? heard didn't come from the planet though that was definitely the voice of a weapon hmm you seem awfully sure of yourself miss because we saw them with our own eyes two in the corral and gungaga reactors they were loud and huge <laughs> a fascinating account were it true however such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Wow, rude. Say, doctor. Um. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. This old fart's rude Talking as fuck. Everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Well, that is why we are Come here. Even if you're a rude old man. Hmm. Huh. I'll go I present to you our planetarium. 
while the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. design. Now then, without further ado. I don't trust this old man. The fact that he told us we're stupid. and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to come so to the cyclical nature of life. Mm -hmm. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, Man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river, where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted. Bam, bam. Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. That is a true soul sucker. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. Man, such an old fart. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Conversion therapy! Hey, can I come? Mm 
See, the blue dots look like it's angling somewhere else. Lighting. If you have lighting issues, game. Yeah. Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? Yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? You're supposed to be the expert, jackass. I'm sorry. I've come to real. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environments. <laughs> and as both <laughs> the planet and Accurate. society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Um, wireless controller low. Oh no. To the conversion therapy room. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nut. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Hmm, the storeroom, you say? Wasn't that, that down here on the right? Or was it up here? I heard the storeroom. I'm going to go check out the storeroom. You take me to the storeroom. Five Moogle medals, yes. So illustrious. Five thousand gil, I'll take. How far down does this go? Ah, there's a chest. There's a weapon of some sort for one of our characters. What kind of weapon? Who knows? Obtain a crystal megaphone. Damn it, that's a cat sif. Thief, crook. Right okay, so what floor do we need to be on? I take the wrong way. I did. Blessings of the planet upon you. Hmm. 
Let me hold the lever. <sighs> I wish that my house was finally done. You should, what are you doing? This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. This village is lame. And don't get me started on the... First off, if you, you're way too obsessed with fucking materia, you crazy bitch. Second off... You know what I give a fuck. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, follow me if you would. To focus on deepening our own understanding. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both. I ask you this. I feel like this is conversion therapy. If you would I'm betting. It's so great learning about the planet. A seminar is in progress. I've, uh always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... he used to say it was a waste. Talk therapy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I... Uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But. There was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. That's stupid if you hit the mute button. When in a cutscene it mutes everything, but if you mute it, that's stupid. So I got here, had a five minute cutscene. This night comes. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Again, feels like a cult. All the time I've spent here. Cult. You're giving off some strong cult vibes here, game. To the cult. To the cult.
Oh, go, go. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we? Look at those stars. Wow, so many tourists. Must Look at them, the gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. We must live in harmony with our great mother, for the planet is an extension of us, and we of it. So Yuffie's agnostic, such, basically. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got planned. That must one day be worth Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help you in pretty minuscule. I can't wait to see what they've got planned. The river of lights, huh? It's awesome. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was 
and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> we give words of encouragement to Arif. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Up a Roth. Okay, now we're going tangled. Cool, cool. Lantern Festival. Put some marker. There, it is time. <sighs> Whoa. Huh? <coughs> no. Nah. Who is the right thing to say, Arif? I swear to God, though. With every word, though. This is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? All of us? What did you all think of the River of Lights? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. I commend you for Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty, to but... To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses well, such power. Glass! My hopes to parlay their emotional the response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. 
they bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. Sounds about right for old people. I mean, what? I'm glad to know that Mary <coughs> is like this you is... to keep her company. Today's experience was sure. Okay, there's like a safe here. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. 